So is today kind of a training camp day with everybody new coming back into the team? Yeah, you know, it's just a practice day. So we have a little bit of time before playoffs start. And uh, yeah, we're just going to touch all the bases over the next few days and make sure we keep our compete up, make sure we keep our conditioning up uh, and look at different line combinations and try different things and see what could happen. And what if we try this? And so we're just going to experiment over the next little bit. So talking about compete levels, you've got a lot of guys that want to be in the lineup, obviously, when the playoffs come around. Is, is that going to get heated in, in a good way? Yeah, well, there's always internal competition. I think, you know, the days of fights and practices have slid out of the hockey world for the most part. Um, not that that's what you were going with, but, uh, uh, you know, guys respect each other. No one wants anyone to get injured from a practice situation. Um, so the, the group is, they understand the situation. There's a lot of meetings today, a lot of conversations. Make sure everybody understands the vet issue, uh, the amount of players we have, and the dif difficult decisions we have to make. So we're going to focus on trying to make the best ones we can. <coughs> and I think the key point is if the game one roster isn't to your liking or if you're not in it, it's not a death sentence. Uh, you know, there's a, it's a long series, uh, and... Uh, things can always change. When you put lineups together, do you have a pretty good idea or is it, how do you go about it? Is it things that worked here in Milwaukee? Is it, okay, these guys did something in Nashville together. Maybe we'll keep them together when they come back to Milwaukee. I think you look at both sides of it. Um, you know, you could say, for example, Sherwood and Luke Evangelista and Tommy Novak were a pretty good line. Uh, no offense to anyone here, but we don't have Tommy Novak. So does that mean someone else can go in there and do that? You think about those things, you think about different options, but um, we're going to experiment over the next few days uh, and then try to lock something down coming Monday, Tuesday-ish as we get ready for a couple practices before game one. So when you take a look at getting ready for game one here, you mentioned the compete level. Is it a lot of just working on things, trying to reinforce things that you guys have been doing so far? Yeah, for the most part, this week, uh, our main focus is we've had a lot of change with our roster all season. This is team four, three, five, call it whatever you want. We want the group to get to know each other. We really want to focus on them integrating, um, understanding what we do different than Nashville, uh, the 10, 15% of gameplay that we do differently. We want to make sure they get them up to speed on those things. Uh, but this week is only about us. Um, the video we're showing to highlight what we need to do as a team, it's going to be Manitoba games because we put the work in. Uh, but we're not talking about them a whole lot. It's very about us and building our team, getting everyone back together. Uh, you know, as, as the Blues Brothers said, we're getting the band back together. So we have to focus on that and make sure everybody knows how to play the right instrument. And, and keep, yeah, and keep everybody motivated and, and ready to go here for the next 10 days. Yeah, so we're, we're very focused on Manitoba. Uh, they're a very good team. They play really hard. Obviously, we have history from last season. And uh, I'm sure there's nothing more they would like to do is to knock us off and, and get a piece of us because we got a piece of them last year. So it's going to be a really hard series. It's always a lot harder than you think it's going to be. It's always closer than you hope. Um, it's just playoffs are hard. And if you watch, uh, typically in playoffs, I watch the uh, coaches post game and you can see the messaging. And it's basically we weren't at playoff intensity for the teams that lost. It's not about being ready or jitters or... They just didn't have the playoff intensity match that the other team had. Uh, that looks like the teams that have been on the wrong side of the ledger. That's been the complaint from the coaches. So just watching that and trying to learn and see how they handle situations, that's something we're going to really focus on and make sure on game one we have the intensity that we're hoping for. Do you think the road record that you had helps with that intensity? Like that, that is a good building block for to have that intensity going into a playoff series. Yeah, well, you look at our lineup and you look at some of the people like uh, Zach Sanford has a Stanley Cup championship, so that's hard to do. Uh, you know, uh, McC Roland McEwen's got a Calder Cup championship. So we have some guys that have won and gone the distance. Those guys know how to uh, uh, play in other teams' buildings, how to uh, prepare for that, hostile crowds, all the different things. Uh, for us, we're a good road team. Uh, we, we've always been a good road team. Uh, so for, uh, we're not very focused on what the other team's going to do. Like I said, it's all about us this week. Uh, next week, we'll worry a little bit about the travel and all the plans and all that kind of stuff. But we're having all this time. We have time to rejig and make sure everyone's organized and feeling, uh, find their role, how they're going to find a position, what's it going to look like. Even for the guys that are in the lineup, 
they're worrying like, am I on the power play? Am I going to get ice time? So it, there's a lot of pieces for almost every individual here because of the change of those guys coming back, which we welcome, but we're going to make sure we sort it out so everyone feels very uh, focused and they're not guessing and they have a clear direction when the puck drops. With all of that stuff, and this will be the last one, with all of that stuff, you have a lot of guys with a lot of equity, whether it was on the power play penalty kill, just being with this team, period. You do have, and I think you welcome, these tough decisions. I do. There's a lot of options, and again, game one power play or PK units doesn't mean it's going to be the same in game two. Uh, for us, we're very focused on putting our best foot forward, uh, and it's funny, like it's the same thing at the start of the year. You do all this work, all this prep, and then you play game one, and then you just focus on game one. And it's almost like everything else goes out the window. So uh, that's pretty typical of all playoff runs or all starts of the season. Um, and this is kind of like a, another start of a season for us, uh, roster-wise, but also with it being a new season in playoffs. So we're going we're gonna to look at our options. We've already done that massively, as you know. And how we, how we end up coming with the conclusion that what we're going to start with is based on past history and also expectations and how the pieces fit.